Hey guys, welcome back. Today we got another interesting video. Uh, today we'll be reacting to the U.S. Military Inventory New Technologies 2024. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, I feel like it should be an interesting video. Let's check it out. America is making huge investments in the military field in order to have a say in the world and it is constantly developing its defense industry by introducing new technologies. The current population of America is 341 million. The American Army has a total of 2.127,000 military personnel. Of these, 1,228,000 are active and 799,000 are reserve personnel. America is the only country in the world that has nearly 200,000 military personnel outside its borders and also has nearly 1,000 bases in the world. Thanks to these, it enables it to launch military operations very quickly in most of the world. This allows it to get ahead in the war. America has more than 6,300 tanks in total. Wow, that's a lot, over 200,000 personnel outside of the US that's insane you have some countries that don't even have a military size of, size of 200,000 that's that's a lot <laughs> Artillery. And 1410 rocket projectors. Tanks play the main role in ground forces. The M1A2 Abrams, with the most powerful armor and technology, is the main battle tank of the Army. Naval forces. The main purpose of the naval forces is to prevent dangers from the sea and support operational troops on land and in the air with high technologies and long-range weapons mounted on it. There are a total of 472 ships in the U.S. Navy. Eleven of these ships are aircraft carriers. Nine are helicopter carriers. 472 that's a lot that's crazy and, that, and what 64 submarines that's a lot that's a lot of submarines there are 75 destroyers Patrol ships and eight mine warfare ships. The United States is a country that has dominated the world in naval forces. Aircraft carriers are very important for the U.S. and it has invested heavily in them. As a result, it has more aircraft carriers than all the other countries in the world combined, and the U.S. also has. Wow! Wow! That's. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. The largest aircraft carriers in the world. When these aircraft carriers are equipped with state-of-the-art fighter jets, a great power emerges and has a great advantage in war. Another of the U.S.'s most important weapons at sea are submarines. submarines. Submarines are one of the most effective military hardware developed throughout history. Submarines are the most advanced and powerful means of warfare after aircraft carriers, providing the ability to attack sea and land targets at great distances. Air Force. The most important weapons in warfare are air forces, because countries that cannot control... That's... that's true, 100% can't control the air. Ah, it's gonna be tough. It's 
definitely gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard battle all the airspace are doomed to defeat the USA is a very advanced and technologically advanced powerful country in this regard the United States has a total of 13 209 aircraft 1854 of them are fighter aircraft 896 attack aircraft 957 transports 2648 trainers 695 special mission aircraft 606 tanker fleet 5737 helicopters 1,000 attack helicopters. Yeah, when it comes to aircraft, you know, air control, the U.S. is on a different level, you know. Wow, 13,000, that's a lot. By far, that's a lot. That's, that's crazy. That's the craziest number I've ever seen so far. Fighter jets and attack helicopters, which play an important role in the Air Force, can change the course of wars. America has made significant technological breakthroughs in fighter jets and has developed itself in this field. The tasks of fighter jets are used to bomb targets on land and water, to neutralize other aircraft, and to perform reconnaissance missions. These fighter jets play a multifaceted role and are equipped with a variety of weapons and equipment and participate in various military operations. They are designed to meet the strategic, and tactical needs of the Air Force in these missions. America is constantly increasing the number of weapons by continuous production. In fact, the issue that is more important than these numbers is technology. Since the USA knows this issue, it is constantly making improvements in technology. And it also creates new technological weapons day by day. Of course, a price must be paid for all of these. America's defense budget for 2024 is $831,781 dollars. It has managed to become the first in the world in the defense industry position because it has continuously increased its defense budget. Nuclear power. Nuclear weapons are used to inflict much more damage than general explosives. Just one weapon used has the power to completely destroy an entire city or a country, both living yeah, you do not want to mess with nuclear power, you know, that is, yeah, that's insane, you know, that's one thing we don't want, guys, it's a nuclear war, you know, it, you know, it's crazy, because the damage is gonna be, it, it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be bad, a whole new level. And non-living. Especially when you can take out a whole city, yeah, think about that. That is why we hope that these weapons are not used. Nuclear weapons were originally built to be used as a deterrent. The USA has a total of 5428 nuclear warheads. The most powerful countries in the world in the position of nuclear power are America and Russia. Yeah. This is it, folks. Yep. Yeah, I think that was it for the video, guys. Oh, let's see. We need you to send a donation to help elect Kamala Harris and Tim Walls right now. They yeah, that was it. Great video, guys. In 2013, LeBron James had nearly the greatest single season in NBA history. But what happened... All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, but that was a great video. Very informative, very informative video. Uh, great video overall i hope you guys you know enjoyed the video if you guys want to see me react to more similar videos please go ahead and comment down below drop some links titles and i'll you know try to check them out um with that being said i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you guys in my next video take care peace